welcome to the Public Sports Workouts. This is our strength session for the week. This is session one. We're going to be really focusing on this session on our core stability and our core strength. So that means all our abdominal muscles at the front, the side, and the lower back. That's, they're the ones that are going to keep us in good posture, stop us wobbling around in our boats, give us control over our boats or our boards, and are just going to help us stay in a really strong paddling position without getting too fatigued. It's also going to help us keep power in the blade and add more power to the blade uh, and get just a more efficient paddle stroke across any discipline that we're in. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to give you five exercises today uh, and what we're going to do with those is we're going to then rotate round them all. So we're going to do one exercise, another exercise, another exercise, another exercise and you're going to do as many sets as you can. I would suggest between one to five sets. So let's get started. The first move we're going to look at I call this the tension crunch. Feet planted on the floor with our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna try and keep our chest up, which gives us a nice flat back, so we're not rounding out. So keep it nice and flat. Start position for this one. Elbows over our knees just to get us, get us ready. Sitting up nice and straight, and then just lower back to the heel of our hands. This is our real start position. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna then ease back to our fingertips, and back up to the heel of the hand. And we're just going to take that nice and slow through that movement. The good thing about this one is it gives the muscles tension throughout the manoeuvre. So there's no slacking off in this bit where we get to lie down and we get to throw ourselves back up again. There's no momentum involved. It's just pure abdominal control. So here to here. Breathing throughout. Keep the breath nice. Really focus on keeping those feet down. Don't let those feet kind of wander up as you go back. Really keep them focused and planted. It's going to be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So we should start be feeling it in our abs now, at the front of our abs in particular. What we're going to do now is work on some rotational moves. Forward paddling in any of our craft or on our boards is all about that rotation and getting good power transfer into the boat. Our abdominal muscles really do a good job of that. They do a massive part of that. So we're going to really work those quite hard now. So we're going to come back to this position again. Feet planted at the moment, hip distance apart. But what we're going to do this time is take our hands up to our head and we're going to rotate round to touch the knee. But what we're going to do is we're going to lift our feet up, extension of one leg, bend the other to the elbow. And then we're going to rotate round again. So this time I'm going to extend this leg Bring this one up and rotate round as far as I can to touch my knee with my elbow. And I'm going to take it nice and slow. Again, I want that tension through my abdominals. I don't want to just be swinging at it. Each move I want to get that nice rotation in. You'll start to feel it in your hips, you'll start to feel it in your abs, and you'll start to feel it in the sides. 30 seconds on. 30 seconds off. We should be really starting to feel it now in our sides and in front of our abs. So we're gonna, we're just gonna mix things up for this next move. This next move has two variations in it. So the first one, this is the slightly, slightly easier, it depends where you're at, but slightly easier version. Uh, knees hip width apart, hands about shoulder width apart. And we wanna be on all fours. And this is gonna work into our lower back and into our glutes as well. Again, really strong muscle groups, Really, really important for all paddle sports. Here we go. All we're going to do this time is we're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg. So it gives us a coordination workout as well, so it's good for our minds. So we're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, nicely stretching out and trying to maintain a straight line. I want to make sure I'm not curving in at my back, that's just going to cause damage. So I just want to come out nice and straight. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Thirty seconds on. Thirty seconds off. For many of us, that move might be a little bit too too easy, or not give us quite enough of a workout. Paddlers generally are quite strong in, in those postural muscles, so we're going to just give them a, a slightly bigger challenge. Uh, and this is actually one of my favourite workouts moves for for paddle sport because it involves quite a lot of balance, uh, a lot of strength and coordination, which is um, not really unlike paddling, is it? So, so let's have a look at this. Start in the same position as the previous move. Knees hip width, hands shoulder width, 
tucking our toes under and then this version is with our knees just hovering off the floor a couple of inches and then we're just going to try and do the same thing again here really focusing on keeping that knee about the same distance from the floor as you go so we don't want it lifting out too much so we want to try and keep it about the same takes a lot of concentration a lot of focus and you'll feel it really working both the, the front part of our abs but also our lower backs and our glutes cracking move that 30 seconds on 30 seconds off okay if we've still got something in us what we're going to do next we're going to really work into our, the, our side of our abdominal area yeah these are the ones that stop us kind of wobbling around rolling around too much in the boat or on a board uh, but also allow us to control the craft really easily as well so it gives us that extra bit of posture really neglected part of, of uh, a lot of people's workouts when we're going to do this i'm just going to fold them out over a little bit or if you haven't got a mat a, a duvet will do and just bring that over a little bit just to cushion my elbow i'm going to try and create a nice flat line i don't want to be falling forward or falling either direction uh, and then all i'm going to do is i'm just going to come up into side plank and then this maneuver is lowering and raising lowering and raising I might need to use my hand just for a bit of balance to stop me rotating forward so then that's fine so just have you have your, maybe a finger that just stops you falling over but doesn't allow you to press yourself up both sides I would go 30 seconds this side straight to 30 seconds the other side that's your 30 seconds 30 seconds on 30 seconds off so by now we should be getting towards the end of our session roughly around 10 minutes i'd say 10 to 15 minutes to complete this uh, but we've got about another minute left so what should we do let's really work on this this uh, front core this is the bit of us of our abdominal muscles that's, that really hold us particularly when kayaking that stop us falling backwards yeah these are the ones that hold us up the backrest shouldn't be the thing holding us up it should be our abdominals same with with sup the same with canoe we don't want to be kind of slumping around in the boat so we're going to work these the, the ability to brace so we're just going to do a standard plank and we're going to hold it for about a minute if you can go longer go longer but a minute's good breathing throughout and just imagining the best days on the water keep a nice straight line try not to let it slump try not to come up too high just try and keep a nice straight line. Hold that for the last minute. Have a little rest, grab a drink, do it all again. The amount of sets is up to you. If you're new to exercise, do one set. If you, you feel like you, you could do more, do up to five sets. Enjoy. This is a cardio based workout. I'm gonna do this one as a bit of a hit session, so a high intensity training session where we're gonna start with some lower body stuff, we're gonna work through into some upper body, and we're just gonna give ourselves a good cardio-based workout. I'm gonna give you each move, and then I suggest we do a minute on, minute off, minute on, minute off, and just work through minute of the first move, rest for one minute, minute of the second move, rest for a minute, third move, and keep going through that. In terms of how many laps you wanna do, how many sets you wanna do, go for one set if you're new to this, if you're already into some physical training, maybe do three sets or five sets or even more. If you want it even more intense, just shorten the rest between sets. Maybe get rid of the rest altogether, depending on how much you want to challenge yourselves. Think about that receipt, rate of perceived exertion scale between one and 10. One is you're sat on your sofa doing nothing uh, and it's that easy. And 10 is you feel like the world's going to end uh, and you can't possibly imagine working any harder. We want to be kind of working to start with just building up from, from one up to about six. And then after that, we wanna be hitting no lower than six, even in our rest, just as we get to six, we wanna be hitting again, even harder towards that eight, nine, and maybe even 10, so that you, you're getting a really good cardio workout. So the first move we're gonna look at is gonna just be a body weight squat. Our feet need to be around about hip width apart. Uh, and all the way through this, we should be able to look down and see our toes. So what we're gonna do is just take our hands just out in front of us and we're just gonna sit down, trying to keep a straight back, 
So keep our chest up so we're not slumping again. We're maintaining good posture. So we're gonna have hands out in front and we're just gonna be squatting down as if we're just gonna sit on a seat. So just come down until our legs are at a nice angle. We don't need to go too low. We certainly don't wanna be getting much lower than just a good sitting position. And then back up. So we're gonna repeat that move for about a minute. So it will look like this. And we're just gonna maintain nice, good breathing throughout. So we're gonna do a minute of those. That should get us nice and warmed up. So we've done a minute of squats. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna go for a forward lunge. When you come to the end of the mat or the duvet, whatever space you've got. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a step forward. We're gonna then drop down as low as we feel comfortable and pressing back up again. So the move here, again, is big muscle groups, it's our quad, it's our glute, and it's gonna require a lot of oxygen, a lot of blood supply, so therefore it's gonna require us to uh, really start to get out of breath and generate a little bit of cardio workout. So each rep will be down, push back, switch to the opposite leg, down, push back. Each time we're trying to keep the back upright, not slumping forward, and push back. So keeping ourselves upright, and we're gonna do this for a minute. One minute of those, off you go. So this will be our third move, we're into our third minute of exercise now. This one we're gonna to start to incorporate a little bit of upper body as well. We're coming back onto the end of the mat again, so we're facing down here. And this time we're gonna take a forward bend, maybe bend the knees if we need to, to get there onto our hands. We're gonna walk down the mat, we're gonna push all the way back again, and stand up. Again, it's using legs. It's now using upper body. After a good few reps of this, we should start to feel, be feeling out of breath. If you want to make this a little bit harder for those of you who've been exercising for longer, if you've got the strength, as you come down to the mat, press to the floor and back up again. So we can add a bit more upper body into the workout. One minute of those, either version. For the next move, we look at something called mountain climbers. Again, it's gonna be a lower body workout, but with putting a little bit of upper body into it, just with the stability side of things. It's quite intense, this one, so this one's gonna get us really working. You're gonna come down into a, a, a long arm plank, so we're not gonna be on our elbows this time, we're gonna be forward, full length, bum down, so we're in a nice straight line. And then all we're gonna do this time is bring one leg up, switch to the other leg. And we're gonna do this kind of fast as we can for about a minute. Trying to maintain breathing, trying to maintain, maintain posture all the way through the maneuver. This one's sure to get you out of breath. If it doesn't, you're not going fast enough. Next move coming up. The next maneuver we're gonna do is gonna be called alternating side planks. It's gonna work our abs, but it's also gonna give us a good cardio workout as well. We're gonna come down onto all fours, push up into plank. And then this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate round into side plank, raise our arm, raise the leg, back to plank, opposite side. Arm, leg, back to plank, opposite side. And we're gonna work this for about a minute. Then rest. If anybody's feeling particularly strong, when you get back to plank, Throw a press up, rotate round, back to the lift. Your choice, your workout. Work as hard as you can, let's go. For our next move, we're gonna get back to some lower body stuff, just to keep that heart rate really up, keep us engaged. We did a lunge right at the beginning, this time we're just gonna add a little bit more um, kind of paddle sport um, maneuver to it, with a bit of rotation. So what we're going to do this time is as we step forward into the lunge, we're then going to rotate and twist. I call this the James Bond. So as we get into the lunge position, we rotate, twist, come back up. So that looks again like this. Into the lunge, rotate, and back up. Opposite side. Down, rotate, and back up. And we just keep rotating through that manoeuvre. 
just when you go as low as you feel comfortable you don't need to go all the way down just as low as you feel comfortable whole minute these will get your, your blood pumping and get your breathing for the last move of the set i'm going to take you back to your school days uh, for an exercise that everyone loves to hate it's called the burpee and um, we can do this last because this will finish us off once you've done this set have a few minute rest if you fancy doing another set start all the way back at the beginning go around again okay so the burpee just to remind anybody who hasn't got it etched into their mind from from school pe days is we're going to start in that like long arm plank position we're then going to leap to our feet stand and jump back to here back to here who doesn't like a good burpee it's it's a great move guaranteed to get you out of breath i've only just done a few just as a demo and i can already feel my heart and lungs working great workout go back to the beginning once you've done this make me get a drink in between start all over again keep the intensity high three sessions of this a week you will definitely be feeling better for it absolute guarantee enjoy this time we're going to be looking at mobility uh, mobility flexibility is going to really help us in our paddling whether it's just being able to hold good postures but also it's going to mean we can maneuver around the boat much easier we can just flow from stroke to stroke uh, for freestyle it's really going to help for open boat it's going to really help and for stand-up paddleboard it's going to really help but just overall mobility means we're less prone to injury but we're also going to be able to move our bodies more efficiently and with ease so i'm just going to take you through some really simple uh, mobility exercises that i believe really help with our paddle sport so one of the main things we do in paddling is, is a lot of rotation and twisting so we're just going to look at a quick uh, maneuver here that we can just sit and hold uh, that's going to really help us improve so this one's a rotational one so what we're going to do is take our our right knee and we're going to just pop it over and next to our left knee depending on where you can get it it's up to you so i'm going to bring mine up next to me here next thing i'm going to do is take my left elbow and put it over that right knee bring my hand up and then i'm just going to rotate i'm gently pressing against this knee to just create the rotation and looking gently over my shoulder i'm going to hold this for anywhere between 10 seconds to a minute depending on what i find comfortable so just measure it at your own pace i shouldn't feel pain but i should feel slight discomfort so it's just it's definitely not any sort of sharp pain it's just a discomfort as i rotate round and hold i'm going to hold that for like say uh, between 10 seconds in a minute i'm going to come back and then i'm going to take my left foot over my right knee just like we did before take my right elbow over my left knee and rotate again and i'm just going to hold it at that point of just this just slight this very slight discomfort just round once we've done that i'm going to come here and we come up onto all fours uh, knees in line with my hips hands in line with my shoulders and all i'm going to do now is take my left hand and I'm going to reach through under my opposite side and put my shoulder onto the floor. And I'm going to just gently press with this hand to create a stretch. I'm going to hold that again between 10 seconds to a minute. Then I'm going to come back up and reach this hand through and to repeat on the opposite side. Next stretch I'm going to go for is I'm just going to take my hands a bit further forward and I'm just going to sink my chest down to the floor. Should be feeling it really nicely through my lats here and the lats are one of the big power bases that we get in paddle sports so getting better mobility through here and through the whole shoulder joint is going to make a big difference. So I'm just going to sink back here. Really nice little addition to this one is to wander my hands around in an arc. So I'm going to start over towards the left, sinking down, 
and just gradually working my hands around all the way to the right hand side and sinking down. Again, I can do this maneuver for 10 seconds to a minute, depending on what I find comfortable. Next one I'm going to do is just look at opening up the shoulder a little bit here. We get quite hunched in paddle sport, we want to open it up. So I'm going to just squeeze my shoulder blades back together and then I'm just going to open my hands out and back in. And just slowly increase the range of movement as I go through. Just really nice little shoulder mobility session. Next one I'm going to do is bring my elbows up. Yeah, and I'm just going to bring them together and then back out. And I'm trying to get a nice stretch across the, the pectoral muscle and up across the shoulder and the deltoids as well. And just bringing it in, squeezing my hands together and bringing it back out again. Bringing it in, squeezing, bringing it out again. Next move, I'm going to bring my elbows up and I'm going to do rotations. And just keep nice and gently rotating. There shouldn't be any pain, shouldn't be any sharpness, should just be maneuvering our shoulders and getting some mobility into our upper bodies. No pain, no grinding, no clicking, just nice bit of mobility. Repeat that. End of every session, repeat that every morning, every evening, every night. You can do that one in front of your telly. So let's get mobile, let's, let's make ourselves better paddlers.